Welcome. I think I'm on the right Instagram now rather than being on my personal Instagram. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Cherie and I am a psychotherapist, a, psychologi a psychologist, a counsellor, and this is Direct Joy on Instagram Live. So usually I stream on Facebook. Today we're going for a Instagram live stream and then it will be available on all my social media channels. But I thought I'd come and say hi to my Insta followers. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. So Direct Joy is a place to offer you mental and emotional well-being support and it's free. It's absolutely free. So the information that I come online to give you every week, fortnight, when I show up basically, um, is to offer you a bit of support, a bit of understanding and some bite-sized chunks of what to do when you are feeling dot, dot, dot. Uh, usually the topics are determined by what people come to me with really um, the things that come into my inbox um, and people say hey like you know it'd be really cool to know more about x y and z or I'm really going through this at the moment what can can you help me out and it's the bite-sized chunk stuff so it's the stuff that you can go do you know what yeah I've remembered that I heard that in direct joy that comes from a reliable source of a psychology thinking psychotherapeutic basis of depth but I can use it as a bite-sized direct chunk into who I am and how I'm living so that's direct joy and today we're on insta so welcome hello hello I can see there's a few people live watching already so welcome happy lunchtime or nearly lunchtime i hope your day is going really awesomely well despite the very chilly out there very 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 chilly um some people have said that it's up to minus six degrees in some areas which whew, that is cold so i hope you're staying toasty warm if you're outside today we're talking about what to do if you are overwhelmed and stressed what to do if you're overwhelmed and stressed when things just get too much. I saw a really cool um, meme on one of the social media channels over the weekend about the fact that sometimes when we appear to be grumpy, we're actually overloaded and we're actually overwhelmed. And it's time to actually take a step back and say, actually, I'm not grumpy. There is the telly on the washing up needs doing, I'm thinking about work, I am thinking about what to pack for lunch tomorrow, I am, I have a lot of impact and overwhelm from both what I can hear, what I can see, what I'm thinking, it's more than both, right, what I'm feeling and everything that I'm processing. So what we appear on the outside to be projecting out to others is actually not what's going on and not what we're feeling, not what we're experiencing, but actually we're overwhelmed, we're stressed. And that sense of actually what is really going on when we're overwhelmed? When we slow that down and when we think about it, there's too much going on. There are noises, there are things, there are things that we're seeing, there are tasks, there is um, social media overload, there is media overload from the, noise, from the news, there are feelings, there are parenting tasks, there are family, relationship, hormones, adrenals, there's not enough time in the day, we're tired, we're hangry, we're hungry, we're lonely, we're tired. There's a lot of shoulds and shouldn'ts. And when we feel overwhelmed, this kind of knot comes here, right? This, this, this knot comes here, this too much here. Migraines happen, communication gets lost. Things happen where actually, oh no, I didn't mean to say that. That's not what I meant to say. Does that ring some bells for you? Does that mean something to you about actually what goes on for you when you're overwhelmed or you're stressed out when there's too much on your plate there's too many feelings if this goes too far we approach anxiety paranoia we get into a place where actually burnout can be and breakdown can be a really true thing that actually do you, do you do you welcome that no of course you don't welcome that 
but actually do you want to change some of the things that are happening in your life no not really you can't change the children you can't change family relationships you can't change the noises you can't change the things that you're seeing you can't change the amount of tasks you know we can't just change our job just like that we can't just make our kids grow up or go to sleep or you know these are not there is no magic to this stuff and the responsibilities that we have we hold true and it's like okay just crack on get through the day get through the month get through this will change this will change but actually what would we like it to be what can we really do when we're overwhelmed and stressed out now one of the things when i was preparing for this direct joy was okay well what do i do what happens to me when i'm overwhelmed and one of the things that I obviously I've shared some of them, but already because that's part of what we're offering here in Direct Joy. But one of the things that actually really struck me was that sometimes I feel like I'm going batshit crazy. That was the thing that really struck me was that actually sometimes I actually feel like I'm going mental. Now, I say that with the caveat, as there's always caveats in Direct Joy, that actually, I don't mean really crazy. I don't mean mental. I don't mean I'm actually having a breakdown. Although I do see that it could lead there. I do see that if I carry on this way, I can carry that forward. And I can see that actually, if I play that forward, which is a, sometimes a really helpful thing to do. If I play that forward, what will happen is that I will actually start being like a bat and going crazy, right? So we have lots of things in our society to respond to those, to this, this overwhelm and this stress. We plan spa days, shopping trips, fishing trips, camping trips, detoxes, long baths, going to the gym, exercise, good food. We go outside, all of these things that we plan to do to deal with our overwhelm. Well, yeah, we do. OK, and that's helpful, really helpful. But they're reactive things. What would it be like to be in a more preventative place? And I've got a bit of an acronym. So a B-A-T, a bat. So when you feel like you're going batshit crazy, go to the bat, go to the basics, align yourself and trust. So I'm going to break those things down. The basics, the alignment and the trust, bat. So by the basics, what we can do is hold on to our basics. What are the basic things that actually keep you ticking? If there's too much noise, if you're overwhelmed by noise, if there's too many emails, if there's too much to do, if there's too much to take on, if there's too much that you're seeing, if there's too much that you're hearing, if there's just too much, what can you actually go to? What are the elements of your day that feel really important to prevent the overwhelm? Now, some of these things are can be to write lists, to be organised, to breathe, to have a yoga practice, to have some rituals in place that actually allow the basic basis. Coming back to basics, coming back to simple. I love the other acronym is KISS. Keep it simple, sister. Keep it simple, stupid. I, I prefer the first one, right? But if you're if you're a brother, that doesn't really work. So, how does it work though for you to just keep it simple? Keeping it simple. What's that like for you? Does it mean a cup of tea and sitting down and reading a page of your book? Does it mean a glass of water and looking at the birds outside feeding on the feeder? Does it mean going outside and just taking a really, three really deep breaths? When you do three deep breaths, it reminds your body to connect into your heart, into your heart rate. When we understand our heart rate, when we're overwhelmed, right? If you, the next time you're feeling overwhelmed or stressed, just connect in with your heart rate. It will be going bum 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 But when you're chilled, the next time you're doing something that chills you, the next time you're kind of chillaxed, then feel your heart rate. What's going on then? Boom, boom, boom. Adrenaline is such an interesting thing. It creates various um, hormonal and adrenal systems and neuro 
pathways and neuro results that you know we don't have time to go into on direct joy if you're interested in knowing more let me know because um, we do now have wise and joy and wise and joy goes into much more detail on these topics but the opportunity is there for you to tune into your body tune into your outside world can we turn the telly down to uh, level 10 Can we turn off one of those machines and actually have one of them on? Could we share that? Could we actually just say, after a certain time, there's no electronics. After a certain time, I'm going to turn off my phone and not have any of that in at me. I'm going to watch the news, but I'm going to watch it at 10 o'clock. I'm not going to watch it at 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to tune into the radio at lunchtime rather than actually before I go to bed what is it that works for you what are those basics what are those simples and taking time to do them are really important so that's the b of bat the a of bat is alignment and that one is taking it slow taking the space and time to align to line up with who you are I'm a multitasker So I will be stirring, washing, texting, drinking something, thinking about this, doing this, and putting my mascara on at exactly the same time. And I'll just pop to the loo, pay my credit card bill, feed the cats at the same time, and make sure that I've sorted out when is the PE kit due to be done, and when am I work, who am I working with in that time, right, message that one, and sort that out, and write the shopping list at exactly the same time. That's how I live. But is that how I thrive? Because at the same time, what happens when the porridge that I'm stirring actually isn't the consistency that I like? What happens when the text that I've sent has actually not come across in the way that I really want it to? What happens if I don't take time to stroke the cat? What happens if I don't pay the right amount off the credit card bill? What happens? If actually I align myself and I take space and time and slow those things down. Now for you, you may love to be a multitasker. I actually love to be a multitasker, but actually I still need to take slow time to align with that. How am I lining up with that? Because if I take on too much, I go to overwhelm, I go to stress, and then my heart rate starts going and my voice goes even faster and slow it down. Allow yourself to align with who you are. What is going on for you when you line up? Now that line can be still be curvy, you flow in with it still, but lining up with that, allowing yourself to allow yourself to have time and to have space, it's beautiful. Now that might feel like an absolute, how the hell am I gonna actually think about that happening? However, it's absolutely vital to just allow a couple of those seconds in. Just a couple of seconds. Even if you just, whilst you're washing up, look at the birds. Take a moment to look up. Take a moment to look around. Take a moment to drop into that breath of who you are and what's happening for you as you do because that will give you the time and the space and the slowing down. So, we've got the basics, we've got the alignment. What's the trust about? So when we're feeling overwhelmed, how can we trust? Sometimes, just to kind of bear in mind, when we're feeling overwhelmed, you may only be able to pick one of these elements, okay? So just allow yourself to think, okay, what do I need? What do I need when I'm feeling overwhelmed? What can I give myself? Because yes, you can book a spa day a month in advance. Yes, you can book a camping trip. Yes, you can plan at the weekend what you're going to do to give to nourish yourself. But actually, what is it about in this moment, in this now? Well, you can still continue in doing your stuff. What is it like to trust? Okay, I'm going through this moment in this time and I'm feeling overwhelmed. My head is getting full. My heart is getting full. My hands are getting full. The plates that I'm spinning are really full. The pressure is on my shoulders. The responsibility is there. 
Okay, so it it, it kind of feels like I'm a, a, a both a doing and a receiving is just overwhelmed. So the masculine and the feminine side of us are, are completely overwhelmed. There's no give, there's no space, there's no give and take between it within us. But trusting, oh, okay, I'm in this at the moment, but when today can I trust that I allow myself the overall intention to give to myself? That yes, this half an hour whilst I'm cooking dinner, this hour at work is going to be tough. This meeting is going to be tough. This situation is going to be tough. Sometimes this week is going to be tough. This My diary looks way too full. But where can I pinch a bit to allow my intention of this week, of this day, of this moment, to still set forth? That's my overall. My overall is, okay, I've signed up to this, right? I've signed up. This is part of what I'm I'm doing. This is part of what I'm being. But where's the pinch? Where's the bit? Because if we allow a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in, it's like the light in the dark. You only need a little bit. You only need a tiny, tiny bit. And that will spread. That will give you the opportunity where you can trust in what you're doing and how you're being and how you feel. And you can say, that is the opportunity for me to do what I've set out to do, what I've intended to do, under the pressure, the responsibility, the overwhelm and the stress. But I also get to learn from that. I also get to see those chinks of light. I also get to explore who I truly want to be, how I want to approach those things. Do I need to refer out a little bit? Do I need to ask for some help? And that can be really hard. And this is where actually, especially in trust, but also in basics and alignment, we get information. We get a lot of information. The moment we slow things down, we get a lot of information. And that information gives us the opportunity to make a choice. So in Wise and Joy, we're going to be going much, much more into this. This is our topic for not this month, but next month. And um, this is just really kind of like a, a taster um, of um, Wise and Joy, which is also very reasonably priced. So don't be put off by that. Check it out and contact me if you're interested. But um, I've gone off kilter. The information that you get from slowing things down and acknowledging, yeah, I do feel overwhelmed. There is too much going on. I am stressed out. All of this stuff is too much actually allows you to tune into your feelings. And when you can tune into your feelings, be they anger, be they sadness, be they joy, be you bouncing around, whatever it might be, the opportunity then is to say, what's the choice? What am I learning from this? What information have I got? Because it's never what you've got, it's what you do with it. How do you then forge forward in the world? How do you use the opportunities that you have so for example, with anger and triggers, when we get angry and triggered by stuff, it's usually a sign of something not being quite right. It's usually a sign that actually we're scared of something and something is not aligned up. Yeah, it comes back to that alignment piece. Slow it down. What are you pissed off about? What are you angry about? What's causing you the overwhelm of that feeling? And what can you do about it? Now, sometimes there's not much we can do about these things. Sometimes we find ourselves in these situations and actually it's like, right, OK, this is a long term intention setting plan. I need to change up the overall. I need to I need to work with this. Yeah. And sometimes that's where therapy comes in. So definitely the support and asking for support when we need to make those transitional changes, when we need to transmute what we've got. Sometimes it's coming back to the basics. Sometimes it's just saying, OK, where am I at? What am I doing? How am I breathing with this? Where are my rituals? What is going on? So what to do when you're overwhelmed and you're stressed? Remember the bat. Remember that you're not going back shit crazy. Probably. You're probably not. What you need to understand is that actually it's about the basics the alignment and the trusting in yourself, trusting that you've got that highest path, the highest good. And if you haven't, time to shift it up. If you haven't got the basics, go back to them. If you haven't got the alignment, bring it in, slow it down, allow the space. 
I hope that was really helpful. Um, it's lovely to see all of you that are live today. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. Um, I will be posting this up on my other social media channels. Uh, so please, yeah, follow me on YouTube and Facebook. I've also got my website. Um, so there's loads of information about kind of things that I offer. I'm quite a busy bee, actually, when I put it all together. Um, like I said, um, but not overwhelmed. <laughs> so um, yeah, follow me, catch up with what I'm doing and see what fits with you. One of my really, um, my passions, actually, I wrote about it yesterday in a post, um, is that actually mental and emotional health is translated wider and fuller and the stigma is broken. We have one-to-one -one therapy. It's usually accessible, dependent on the amount of money you have. And also whether the, it's, so if it's not about money, it's about going to your GP and whether that style of therapy suits you. I worked in the NHS for a really long time and I absolutely loved it. It was absolutely fantastically brilliant. And I strongly believe in a lot of the approaches. What I've done is I've come into private practice and I've shifted it around and I've created now Direct Joy, which is the free, Wise and Joy, which goes a little bit deeper. So it's likened to cognitive behavioural therapy in the fact that it's solution focused, but Wise and Joy is more about a Sheree behavioural therapy. It's solution focused based on the solutions that I believe help, which are a um, integration and a, uh, an a uh, an amalgamation of the what I believe actually is helpful in so many different ways. It's holistic and it has a spiritual basis. Um, so it helps you to really line up all of the elements of who you are. And also I offer multi-dimensional ecotherapy and traditional psychotherapy. So um, they're the layers of what I offer and who I am. I work both outside and inside and on Zoom and yeah, basically any which way because it's really important for me that um, what I know is worked with on all different levels and that financial, social, faith, anything are not barriers there are no glass ceilings to mental and emotional support there shouldn't be that's you will rarely hear me say shouldn't but that is the one that i am so passionate about so um yeah follow like subscribe do all the things um yeah give me a phone call and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take really good care. I'm wishing you lots of love and peace and joy for the rest of today and your week ahead. Take care. How do I end this? <laughs>